Hey mamas, what's up? I'm Rebecca. You're watching the Reseller Mom Show. Thanks for joining me today. I have a supplies unboxing and um, review video for you. Right now I'm recording this. Everybody's sleeping, but it was the only way that I could do the intro. I've already recorded and we'll share with you next, like the actual unboxing, everything I ordered, all the supplies, what I think of them, how I'm using them. Um, and then at the end, I'll put all the screenshots of everything that I ordered. I'll put it in the description below, of course. And then everything is always in my like general Amazon store for you to purchase it. Um, but I'm really into like trying out different products that I think are good investments for your business. And so if you have an idea or something that you're interested in getting but don't want to be the guinea pig and maybe you want me to be the guinea pig, you know, throw a link to the product in the comment section or just let me know in the comment section what you might be interested in because I really think this is cool. I feel like sometimes you don't know what kind of quality you're going to get. Um, sometimes the return policy with Amazon isn't to where it's completely free. So, you know, when you're trying to decide what's the best product to help you with your business, I feel like these review videos are helpful. I look for them all the time. So I have hangers that I ordered, a clothing rack, um, resealable bags, uh, like the plastic zipper bags, uh, item like inventory item numbers. So I'm just going to let the video roll and you can see the unboxing of it and how I used it, how I put everything together, all of that. And then at the end, I'll have all of the screenshots of exactly what the items are. Hope you enjoy. Look forward to your feedback. Please go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Okay, so I'm going to do my unboxing here. I ordered like $340 worth of supplies from Amazon. I did a video about how to plan your expenses. And so I really looked at things that I wanted to make improvements with, things that I buy regularly. And so I'm trying to bulk up on them now while I have a lot of extra profit at the end of the year. And then I'm gonna space them out evenly throughout the year um, so that I'm not getting hit with like, oh crap, I'm out of bags or I'm out of labels for my Dymo or whatever. And then I, maybe that's a short month. Maybe I don't want to be putting out a lot of expenses money during the summer when it's slower. So I'm trying to do some planning. When I had my corporate job, we did planning ahead of the time, like planning ahead for the year to make the budget and knowing when those expenses were coming. And we did all of that down to a T. So I'm actually really surprised at myself that I haven't done it yet. <laughs> um, I think I just got into like mental headspace of like, oh, this is something I should do, but really I should have done it all along. So some of the things that I ordered are ahead for next year. Some of the things are like improvements for right now. So, okay, so here are my numbered labels, which you maybe have seen me do this before, but now I know like where my number inventory system is. So basically, oh, these are a lot smaller. That's a thing. Oh, they're fine. They're just the number is a lot smaller, but I think as you get, as the numbers get bigger, they obviously have to look smaller. So I'm not sure if I can. So this is like, the 9,000 number, I hope these stick good. These are not the same ones. And that's the problem, like the pictures all look the same. These are not the same. Hopefully this works out okay, otherwise I'm returning them. I don't even know if you can return them, but I wanna see how they stick on. The other labels were like way bigger across in like a rectangle, so we'll see. Oh, so, so far that's not very exciting because they're all like small little circles and I feel like they're like dots like you'd put on a garage sale and I don't feel like those are going to stick on that good. Especially how rough I am with my bags. <laughs> I just throw them everywhere. All right, so we'll put these back and then I have to look that up and see. Darn it. Okay, so the next thing are hangers. I got two different kinds of hangers. I'm very excited about them. I think 
gotten a scissor, but I usually just rip them open with my brute force strength. So I'm not a pink kind of person, but I got two different kinds of hangers and the only color that I kind of liked that wasn't black because I feel like everybody has black hangers that matched together between the two different kinds of hangers was this like blush pink color. And I'm in my front entryway, so I know the lighting isn't great. Maybe that will help a little. Um, but these are nice. So I got 50 of them. They're like a blush pink velvet hanger with the notch here and a rose gold handle hanger, whatever. So, excuse me, I just burped. Um, <laughs> I like these, these are nice. So I have 50 of them. So I probably didn't need 50 of them, but I just am kind of at the point where I just, I wanna buy something with the most cost effectiveness. You never know what's gonna happen. It's an asset, I can always sell them off and like I don't wanna buy them again. <laughs> like, I just don't want to buy them again. So that's that. These are the other hangers. So let's see. I should have brought a scissor over here. But these are the ones I'm really excited about. Oh, these are the same. Oh, no, they're not. Okay. Sorry. So here's my dilemma, which you may appreciate. I thought these were also gonna have the rose gold, okay. So plus size hangers for skirts and pants like are non-existent. And so I've been looking and looking to try to find something that would work for skirts and pants for larger plus size items. And I just can't find them. And so I've been measuring and trying to compare. I even jerry-rigged my own by putting two kinds of hangers together, breaking them apart, duct taping them with like black electrical tape together to make a massive hanger. And um, the, only, the only hangers I've ever found that you can get for free that are the biggest ones I've seen is by going to Kohl's to their plus size section and asking one of their people for some plus size hangers but even those are not this big. So then I would take those, since that was the biggest one, I would break off the ends, attach them with electrical tape to another hanger, tape it all up, and then that would be like this big. And I should have brought it, but I didn't. And so that was 17 inches. <coughs> this is 16.7 inches. So this is the largest like horizontal bar that I've seen. So it doesn't look that big. I mean, I guess it is. I guess it is 16 and a half, but it doesn't look that big. So I have to look at mine because mine was supposedly 17 and this is supposed to be 16.7. But I do like it. I think it's pretty big. I just kind of envisioned it a lot bigger. So we'll have to test this out and see. So stay tuned on that because I just want to do the unboxing before I like lugged them all and put them in different places and then um, can show you how I'm using everything. So in here are my SJ Pack Dymo labels. So I use the generic labels for my Dymo 4XL. Don't judge me. And that probably rules me out from any, you know, future sponsorship from Dymo or whatever. And it is what it is, but they're the cheapest that I found. And at this point, I bought one last year and it's lasted me the whole year, which is kind of sad because it means I'm not selling as much as I could be. But it's nice to know that if I buy one pack and I'm selling about on average 10 a day, this is about 4,000 labels. So it's like 10.2 packages a day, which, you know, some days I'm at 15, but some days I'm at eight or whatever. So we go on vacation, this or that. So these are the Dymo labels. It's SJ Pack. All of these things are linked in my Amazon store. The description is below. It's also my link tree on Instagram. Um, so I have not had a problem with these. I've had the Dymo for at least a year now. And I've gone through, this is a box of 20. Again, I'll put prices in all of the listings and everything probably at the end or maybe the beginning or wherever it ends up being. But um, you know, these have been just fine. 
so I just ordered a whole pack. I'll probably just actually keep these at the storage unit and then bring like a couple rolls over to home at a time. What's this? I don't even remember what else I ordered. Oh, this better not be my rack. So I want a new rack. Well, don't we all ladies? Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I want a new clothing rack. And I really looked for ones that said like commercial grade or industrial strength, like metal. Like I want metal, metal. I don't want a Z rack because that's too long for the space that I have. So of the smaller, more condensed ones, I wanted one that was going to be more sturdy because, so, oh, it is the rack. Oh, I hope this works. The one that I have, like it can fall over at any second, like one wrong move and you are going to be clobbered by clothes. And I use it not only for at home, but I also use it for when I have my clearance sales and I've stopped because it's fallen on people. And that's like no good, clearly. All right, I guess it does feel, it says metal pipe rolling garment rack organizer with bottom shelf storage bronze. So this is what it should look like. I guess it does feel heavy. It just, it kind of sounded like too clinky. Let's just open it up because I'm going to return it if, if um, it's not seemingly sturdy because I don't need another nonsense one. The one that I have is fine if you're not going to put a lot on it or whatever. I mean, it, it's fine. Um, I have, well, I have three of them, but I mixed up all the parts. So now I only can really make two of them. <laughs> so I have two racks. One's at the storage unit and one is here. And then I have a bunch of other random storage rack parts that I don't know where they go. <laughs> so that's kind of how I roll. That's what I do. That's how it works. Oh, I mean, they're metally, but I don't know if they're any better than what I have. Maybe the fact that it has the shelf on the bottom makes it more sturdy. We'll have to see when I put it together, which is kind of what I wanted to avoid. I wanted to just be able to like look at the parts and be like, oh, this is serious. Like this kind of like, look at this. This is kind of like what I already have. I mean, there's a little more weight to it. But again, maybe the fact of having... I know this is stuffy. Maybe the fact of having the metal rack kind of keep everything locked together would make it more sturdy. Also, well, I will say, all right, so here's something. These wheels look way more sturdy. Everything is going to fall. So it's gonna, I want to open it if I want to return it. See this, like look at the hardware on this. This looks way more sturdy than what I have now. And it comes with a wrench. So, I mean, clearly that is a sign of <laughs> no I, I'm just kidding I'm being I'm being sarcastic people um but they do feel way heavier way more sturdy like the one that I have at the storage unit again they were like $15 from Aldi generic brand whatever and like the one wheel keeps falling off and then like it falls over like slightly at the storage unit it drives me crazy because then I have to stop what I'm doing, pick up the wheel, stick it back in. And I really should just super glue the wheel in, but I haven't decided that I want to keep it up. I might just get rid of the whole thing. I don't know. So, okay. Is that everything that came? Is that everything that I ordered? I feel like I ordered something else. I'll have to go back and compare my order. But that's what I have to show you at this point, and I will show you them in use, and then I'll put up all the screenshots and everything, and if these are things that you wanna upgrade your business with or just sparks an idea, go ahead and check out my Amazon store and place an order. I would love the little meanie, meanie, meanie affiliate kickback. <laughs> I think I've gotten paid on them, um, you know, because I've recommended a couple of things, and people have made use of my links like every so often. And so I think I made in the year of 2019, well, I started the YouTube channel in February of 2019 and it's now 
the almost end of November 2019, I think I made $30 in all of that time. So, um, you know, it's definitely not breaking the bank, but I can see how it would add up over time once I have a bigger audience and maybe recommend more things. But for me, I don't want to lead you astray. I just want to be able to say, hey, this is how I'm upgrading my business. These are the kinds of things I'm thinking about purchasing. Buy them, see if they work. If they don't, I send them back. If you saw my other review on the, um, I did three products. I did the sweater shaver, the scale, and the ring light. And I sent the ring light back because I didn't think it did anything for me. I didn't think it improved my business. But the other two things I loved and I kept. So I'm all about bringing you an honest review. I feel like I'm pretty analytical and in-depth with what I look at <laughs> and how I look at it. So, you know, I'm not just doing it to make money. I'm not making that much money off of it. I'm just letting you know, this, this little guy right here, hello. Um, you know, just letting you know what I'm up to and all the crazy ideas I have. So let's go check out how these things work in the reselling room. Okay, so this is what good lighting looks like. <laughs> Um, so let's look at the hangers first. So I was concerned about getting the rose gold hook because I have this like, what is it called? Brushed bronze or brushed nickel or whatever it is hook. And then like the rose gold was going to be next to it. But honestly, I thought about it when I take my pictures, it's not even always in it. So you may not even see the hook. You might only see the rose gold. And I'm sure at some point, that won't be in but honestly I mean these days I'm using these bamboo hangers which I love but I only have two and so the whole reason for this purchase just so you know is I like to really I've really been hanging everything up on the rack we'll talk about the rack in a second and if I'm taking things out doing a haul hanging them up so they look nice do I need to steam them whatever fine fine but I'm hanging them on like whatever cockamamie, sorry, this is in a haul video, <laughs> like whatever hanger I have. And then I'm switching it to the bamboo hanger to take the picture. Like that's extra time. Who needs to be doing that? So if I just had a nice set of several hangers that looked good that I can just take from here to here, that would save a ton of time. And the whole thing for 50 of them, which I'm never going to be able to put 50 items on here anyway, um was like $25 again I'll put all the screenshots later and I'm sure the prices change and stuff for whatever reason this looks a little cockeye no I guess it looks okay I hope these don't hang weird let's see it looks a little sideways oh it's gonna be a bummer So also these like swivel too. Maybe that's why. That looks a little bit better. Also you're off kilter too, or the way I have the computer. Anyway, the way I have the thing. So let's see. Um, let's just see what it looks like. And again, I did not, I bought the pink, the blush pink, but I don't really care so much about that. But. That looks great. Perfect. Awesome. Done. Love it. So those hangers, happy with that. All right. Now this is the one. So here's what I did. This is what I jerry-rigged. You see this? This is electrical tape. I hate that this is here. You know, so it was basically a hanger that was this big. And then I broke apart another hanger, taped it on, and made it. So let's see how it compares. All right, so from clip to clip, it is a little shorter. You could see that. So it is like almost an inch or two, about an inch and a half shorter. I think what they're telling you is that from this end to this end, it's 16 and a half. And obviously the clip only goes so far. So there's that. So you probably end up with the same size as the other one, which was 15 inches. But it's clearly better Where's, let's see, I think here's one of the ones, is this one? 
Yeah, so like this is one of the plus size hangers that I got from Kohl's. So look at how much bigger that is. So that's great. So compared to a regular hanger, that is good news. I'm pretty sure, yeah, cause like this isn't one of the ones from Kohl's and this is way shorter. So that is great. So I like that. So this is, this makes me feel good. I'm trying to see if I have anything plus size right now to hang on it. I don't think at the moment I have anything handy plus size to hang on it, which is a big bummer. I just bought a whole bunch of stuff today. Oh, my, let me see. All right, so this is a Talbot size 14. So let's just see. I mean, obviously it's not a 22 or anything, but you'd be able to see. So, I mean, if you hang it from this end, you have some extra over here. This is a size 14. So even if you had a size 22 where there was a little bit on each side, but I mean, this is the widest you're, that I have found and I have looked. So, I mean, I know it's not super even, because of that, but if I did make it even. And I liked, the other thing I liked was that they were fully adjustable so that I can use them for whatever size. So if this was a smaller item, I could still put it here and make it even. Whereas with these, you know, sometimes it doesn't, doesn't work right. So I think that's good. I mean, again, you're off center, so but I have my chairs over there and like 5 million other things. So the hanger I think is good. So I'm happy with this. I forget how many I got in this pack, but they had multiple quantities. Obviously the more you get, you do get a price break, which is why on the regular size, I got the 50. I think on these, I got 30 of them. Cause I figure I probably do more dresses and tops than I do bottoms. I don't know. All right, so that's good. So of the stuff I bought, the hangers are great, both sets of hangers, check, check. And then the labels for the Dymo, I already knew that those were gonna be fine, so those are legit, so that's a check. So here's the numbered labels, which I really think I'm gonna have an issue with. Should have grabbed the one that I had already opened, I grabbed a different one. So these are the ones that I have now. And I don't know how this happened because every single time I've ordered them, they've been these same numbers. <laughs> like This is the 2000 level, it's the same number. So I don't know how it ended up that the, and like these has four digits. So it can't be a space issue because this is the 8,000 roll and these have four digits also. So it's not like I added a digit and that's why they're smaller or something. So you see here, like, I don't like that. That's never going to work. So that's a no. That's a big, that's a big, big fail. So I need to go back and look because I thought that the picture looked exactly the same as those other ones. So I either need to say, I don't want these. I want the ones that I ordered or I need to find the ones that I want. So that's a no. And then to be determined on the rack, um, because I'll show you what I have and how chintzy it is. And then I'll show you, I guess I'll put together the other one and see how that goes. Okay. Stay tuned. Okay. So here we're going to show you the rack and like, it's supposed to have a thing on the end here, but like I said, it's also supposed to have a thing that goes across here. I have three different racks. All the parts got mixed up. And so now I just kind of like Frankensteined my way into at least two racks that are proper. One's here, one's at the storage unit. And the other one is like just parts basically under my guest room bed. So like you can lift this up, this can move. And then here's really the issue where you can see, you've seen all these, like these kinds of chintzy wheels come on, like those little rolling plastic drawer sets and stuff like that. I mean, so you can tell like this is not great and sturdy. This is plastic, this is all plastic. So in comparison, let's go get the other one. Okay, so like I said, from the metal, these metal rods, again, without doing anything just yet, 
I don't know if I feel like these are any sturdier than the one that I have now. However, the bottom here is all plastic and the wheels are plastic. And here, the bottom is gonna be this metal shelf that goes all the way across. And then the wheels, which is a way more sturdy apparatus. Look at that, that's all metal. Look at this, I mean, there's a screw. These you just shove in there like, and hope for the best. This has a wrench, like I said, which is extremely impressive. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not a whatever metal shelf expert, but I mean, in general, I feel like this is a step up. However, I didn't necessarily want just a step up. I kind of wanted like a legit store grade without it being so big. And I don't think that this is store grade, but maybe it'll do the trick. So I guess I will put it together and then see how I feel about it then, which I really didn't want to do, but okay, let's give it a shot. So here's the thing. I got it all apart and I definitely can do this myself. I'm a big believer in women putting their own crap together. However, it's going to take me a while and I do have a husband and one of the perks of having a husband is to make him do this crap. So I think when he gets home, I'm going to ask him to help me do it because I could better use my time doing like a haul video <laughs> with the time that I have. Pretty soon Gio's got to go down to nap and this room is next to his room. So I can't go clanging around this stuff trying to put it together. So I can, I'm all for women's lib but I don't want to do it. And that makes me more awesome because I'm being more efficient with my time. What do you think? Leave me a comment below if I'm totally being a jerk. <laughs> All right. We will hopefully see this put together shortly. Okay. So it's together. I had my husband put it together for me because I just didn't feel like dealing with it. I'm sure I could. The directions looked very easy. I just didn't want to deal with it. Easy. Okay. Thank you, Darth Vader. Bye. So it's together. It's a little taller, as you can see, than the other one, probably due to the wheels. Um, you know, it's not as fancy, or well, the other one isn't fancy, but it's not. It's not fancy. I also don't think that these are as heavy duty as I wanted them to be. I mean, as you can see, it's still a little bit wobbly, but it's way less wobbly than that one. So, I mean, I do think I'm gonna keep it. I think that it will remain more sturdy because of the bar and the shelf. So I'm gonna start stacking on stuff with the new hangers and just kind of see how I feel once there's a lot of things hanging on it to make a final determination. But I don't really think I would take it apart and return it at this point. I think it's fine. Um, it's a little bit, let's see. Yeah, it's a little bit longer than what I have now. Um, or I guess wide, I should say. So that's good. So I should be able to get more on there. So we'll see, stay tuned. I'm gonna put stuff on it. Okay, so here's what it looks like with lots and lots of stuff on it. So I hung up a bunch of stuff with the new hangers, some stuff with the old hangers. I didn't feel like switching. There's a lot of items on there. Feels pretty good. And then I put a bunch of stuff on the new rack Yay, I love that because that'll be like stuff that needs to get flat laid or something. Feels, I mean, it does move, but it definitely doesn't move like the other one. So, and I can, I don't have a lot of room to roll it right now. I guess you could roll it. It's on carpet, so it's harder. But, excuse me, my nose is all stuffy. Um, Like, it's better than the one that I had. It's worth keeping. It's not the industrial strength that I was looking for, but maybe I don't actually need that. And this seems fine. So I'm pleased with it. I would definitely recommend it. If you don't have one at all, I think it's a good first one. If you had a cheap one, I think it's better than that, but it's definitely not a full industrial strength one like I had initially intended to get. So that's my thought on that. Okay, so I'm gonna go through 
the exact items that I purchased, show you the listing and how much they were, give you my final thoughts. So these are the hangers that are like for tops and dresses. They're velvet. I ordered the blush pink. Um, they have the rose gold topper. They have the notch. They're in a million different colors. You can select whatever you want, including not necessarily having the rose gold hanging part, which was cool. And they were $24.95 and I am pleased with them and I would purchase them again if I needed more. So I like these. The next one is the larger size uh, skirt clip hangers, and I am happy with these. They're longer than all the other hangers that I've come across. I got them to match, so they're the rose, um, they're the velvet, uh, bleh, velvet blush pink. Um, they didn't have a rose gold hanging thing. I think all the hanging is silver, but they do have other colors of these that you can try to match them if you want. And that is a 30 pack for $24.99. And um, I'm happy with these. So this is definitely a win. This is the clothing rack. And see here it says like heavy duty commercial grade industrial pipe. That's what I was looking for. And I will say it's better than the really cheapo one that I had. But it's still not what I would say industrial pipe or commercial grade. So if you have one that is very heavy duty, this would probably be a downgrade. If you don't have anything at all or you have one that was flimsy like I had, then I do think it would be a small upgrade. I think my challenge is that this is still small in width and the ones like a Z-Rack that are heavy duty commercial grade are just much longer in width and I just don't have that kind of space. So I am happy with it. I am going to keep it, but it's not exactly what I was thinking. Um, I got it for $31.99. You know, sometimes prices fluctuate on Amazon, so just keep that in mind. But I am happy with this purchase. These are the um, Dymo equivalent <laughs> labels that I purchased. For my Dymo 4XL printer. So this is a 20 pack. They have all sorts of size levels. So you can order less rolls and you can order more rolls. And of course, the more you buy, the better the price. So for me, I feel like 20 rolls is a good price point for me. I forget how much it works out to be per label. You can do the math. There's 220 labels per roll. I paid $76.99 for them. They came perfect, so I've ordered these twice now, and this batch has lasted me about a year, and you know, if I sell more, then I'll go through it faster, so you know, I'm cool with buying this once a year, or even more if I'm selling and therefore needing the labels. So I think this is a good like um, quantity price point match for me. And so that is a success and I would totally buy those again. These I did not show in the video because they had not come yet. Um, but you've seen me show my 9 by 12 zipper reclosable plastic bags. This is what I store my inventory in. And I found this, um, this particular supplier because it's not prime. So it's $39.99 for a thousand of these bags. And it's free shipping, but it's not Amazon Prime. So this is like the person is mailing them themselves. It's not going through an Amazon Fulfillment Center. These are actually 0.5 mil thicker plastic than I had dealt with before with a Prime seller. So I'm actually going to be switching to these because it's about half the cost. At $1,000 um, for this price, you're looking at, you know, 3 and $0.04 cents a bag versus five and six cents a bag. So I'm really happy with this. Um, I ordered 4,000 of them <laughs> and they just came yesterday, but I'm not going to video that. Like they're just bags and I'm happy with the quality. So I would definitely check out this listing. Um, and then these are the inventory numbers that I meant to buy 
but that I didn't actually buy. So I did return the ones that you've seen in the video. I sent them off yesterday. I did get my credit for them and I'm going to be purchasing more of these. I just haven't done it yet. Um, so these are kind of like a rectangular label. They look exactly like what it's showing here where, like I said, I must've just gotten confused and looked at a bunch of labels and then ordered the wrong ones. So these are the right ones. They have them in all the different consecutive numbers. They're $9.75 a roll for a thousand labels. So obviously it's still a really good deal. It's like a penny a label or something or whatever. I don't know, less than a penny. Um, and it's prime as well. So these are the correct ones. I wanted to show you the right listing. And these are the ones that I've shown in other videos and I'm happy with. Um, and that was me doing the intro. So those are all of the items. Everything's going to be linked in the description below. Everything is in my Amazon store if you ever want to go back in the future. And if you try any of these products, let me know what you thought of them. Like I said, I'm happy with everything I've just showed you. And um, really enjoy doing these review videos. So if there's anything that you would like me to review because you're thinking of adding it as an investment to your business, let me know in the comments below. Have a great day.